So you've made a mistake and you're in excruciating pain because you think what you did was absolutely unforgivable. And you think no matter what happens, you will never be able to forgive yourself. But what if I told you that not forgiving yourself can kill you? Do you think you'd manage to find a way? Well, that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. Now, over the last six years, I have read books, studies, and learned from some of the so-called experts within the forgiveness space. Now, although I believe some of these so-called experts might well be spreading more harmful than helpful concepts when it comes to the process of self-forgiveness, but that's a video for another time, there is something that I keep coming across time and time again that is both interesting and worrying at the exact same time. And the more I dive deeper and deeper into this particular rabbit hole, the more concerned I become. And it's this, the inability to forgive yourself is detrimental to your health, both mentally and physically. So much so that research now suggests that not forgiving yourself can absolutely kill you. Now I know what you're probably thinking because I was skeptical at first too. So let's unpack it a little more because no doubt you, like me, are just as worried as I was when I first heard about this concept. And let's be honest, a little reluctant to believe it too. Now, so that this makes perfect sense, we need to first start by talking about your diet, not what you eat, not what you drink, something much more important than both of those things. It's your dialogue diet. So this is your mind and the emotions that you're feeding it every day because of that past mistake. So we'll start off with some disgust, some guilt, and lots and lots and lots of anger. Now, people whose emotions consume them, they just end up self-loathing, and they do this because they haven't learned how to forgive themselves. So they just continue to consume this poisonous concoction of anger and everything else. But here's the kicker. Doing this just keeps them stuck in a relentless cycle. Now, out of the thousands of people that I have helped when it comes to the topic of self-forgiveness, the vast majority of them have chronic levels of anger because of their past, which means their dialogue diet is horrendous and they spend so much of their time beating themselves up. And the worst part is, they truly believe that they deserve it. It's really damaging. How damaging, you might be wondering? Well, we're about to get onto that. Now, these people are so angry at themselves because of their past mistake that this pours into other areas of their lives too. So much so that they can end up self-sabotaging, whether that's their professional life, romantic relationships, or quite frankly, just self-destructive behaviors. Why, you might be asking? Well, it's pretty simple. And it's because hair people hair people. I know because I used to be one of them. So let's get into the severity of this complex issue that is chronic levels of anger. Now, firstly, I don't determine any emotion to be either positive or negative. They just are. However, what I do believe to be true, and thankfully the literature backs me up with this theory, is that repressed or suppressed emotions are dangerous to both ourselves and the people around us, whether that's our friends, our family members, or even our children. And here's why, because anger releases the stress hormone called cortisol and the release of this particular hormone gives the body bursts of energy which is great to keep you safe and to get you out of bed in the morning however too much cortisol can and does cause significant negative problems within the body it can suppress or limit the functioning of the thyroid it can decrease your bone density and it can cause an imbalance in your blood sugar levels chronically high levels of cortisol can lead to multiple health problems including weight gain high blood pressure diabetes and they can even contribute to anxiety and depression. All of which I can get into a lot more detail in another video. So subscribe if you'd like to know more about the health benefits of forgiveness. Okay, so maybe you're sat there thinking, Sean, yeah, these things don't sound nice, but they aren't going to kill me. And absolutely, you would be right. However, medical and psychological studies have shown for years now that chronic levels of anger and resentment are harmful to your cardiovascular health. These studies show that people who have a difficult time managing their anger have high higher rates of heart disease and suffer more heart attacks. And what's the biggest cause of death worldwide? Oh, that's right, heart disease. So if you were looking for a reason to finally forgive yourself, perhaps you've just found it. So please stop ingesting the poison of anger. Change your dialogue diet today by learning how to forgive instead. If you have any questions, pop them down below. Now, if you're in the minority of people who are actually serious about self-forgiveness, then you'll want to go and watch this video next, as this is going to give you some crucial reminders that you need to hear in order to forgive yourself.